Hi all, this is DLAS again. So in my previous video, which I'll link in the description below, I covered some tips around the assembly of the Ender 3 Pro kit. In this video, I'll get to what I at least wanted to get to as fast as possible, which is actually printing something. Uh, so this will cover the steps of leveling the print bed, feeding some filament in, and then actually printing something from the SD card. So let's get started with it. So the first step is plug in the power cord and turn it on using the switch on the side of the power supply. That should bring up a display on the screen. And then using the knob on the panel, by turning it, you can run through the menu and press it to select a menu. Um, when the video starts, you'll hear me say it's try number two. That's because, as you may have heard me reference in the previous video, uh, I forgot to tighten the screw head, so the Z-axis wasn't working correctly. All right, here goes attempt two. Turn it on. Prepare. Turn to prepare. Turn to auto home. And try again. Here I turned off the power so I could move the uh, extruder around and also move the bed around motors. I have since read that this may actually not be good for the stepper motors, but I honestly don't know. So this is what I did, but I'm not sure if it should be recommended or not. People may correct me in the comments. So the catch with this is you want to, that was a chair, not me, you want to get the bed leveled so that as the motor moves around on the bed, it's not dragging or hitting spots or moving too far away from the bed. So once you've put it in the auto home position and switched it off so you can freely move things around, then you want to start by going into one spot and by adjusting these wheels on the bottom, adjust it so you have just a little bit of drag. So you don't want it moving easily like that but you don't want it actually catching and dragging the paper and scoring it. So once you have a little bit of drag, then what you can do, and what I'm going to do initially is tighten them all up a little bit because they were so far up that the motor was actually hitting them. So looking at the bottom of them, I'm going to bring them all a little bit. So roughly under here, I've got the same amount of Thread showing underneath. I took a picture with my phone to show what I meant by the same amount of thread showing. So what you're seeing in the picture is looking at the underneath of the bed and you can see one of the wheels there that with a bit of the thread showing below it. And what I did is once I had the one corner set up, I just screwed the rest of them down enough so that the same amount of thread was showing through all of them thereby at least trying to get the table relatively close to being the uh, same depth for all. And then since I've never really done this much before, I have to try and remember actually which way to turn the wheels. And so what I'll do then, I've got them all adjusted pretty good, is you can slide this around. So I'll then slide it keeping an eye on it just to make sure that I'm not dragging too heavily on the bed. And then I'll adjust this the same way. So it's just starting to drag a little bit. And then I can do let's move this over and it's actually dragging a bit so Line this one down so I'm not dragging it on the table. Which this one, it turns out, needs to go quite a bit down. But then I'll do the same thing here. Again, you just want to get it so it's got a little bit of drag. And 
same thing up here. So basically trying to do that on all four of them, so you get the same amount of drag on each each of them. And that will at least then make sure your bed is level. Now we're going to put a nice mark on it there, but live and learn. Alright, so now that we've auto leveled the bed, what we need to do is we want to move the head up and then we can start to load some filament in. So we'll power it back on. We'll push the knob again to go to prepare. Move access. And we'll do move one millimeter. Move Z access. Which I unfortunately moved the knob while I was selecting it. So if you push it again, you'll get back, and then you can go to move z-axis, which I meant to pick the first time. And then what we can do is basically bring it up a little bit. I'm just going to bring it up to 33, and leave it there. And that gives us enough room underneath that we can then, once we feed the filament in, we can clear the filament. When you're ready to feed the filament in, you want to set it to preheat PLA and that way the head will be hot and as you feed the filament in and push it through, it will actually, I guess for a better lack of a better word, prime it so some will be in the head and ready to go. Apologies for the bad focus here, um, but what you do is you cut the filament at a bit of an angle so it will feed better through the cable and won't get caught and then what you do is you will squeeze this clamp which releases the pressure on the two wheels the part I'm squeezing right there and then it'll feed through and you'll see it start to go into the Bowden tool or Bowden tube using the new word I learned earlier um, you may hit some resistance but if you wiggle it around it should feed through what you'll do is push the filament through until you start to see it feed out of the extruder um, you probably don't need to feed this much. I was actually clearing out some white that I had used earlier. Um, it took me a couple of videos to do this, so on this one I was doing the uh, black. At this point, if you wanted to print, you can actually just directly from the SD card that comes with the uh, printer. Um, the one thing to make sure of is you do need to go to the uh, init SD card menu mm -hmm. and then you're actually able to load the or see the SD card and then you could choose there's a dog model that's loaded right on the SD card or comes with it which you could just go ahead and print. I didn't end up printing the uh, test dog print. I instead actually printed the Apple dongle grabber which is on the <laughs> menu that you can see there. Um, that was the lead in to my other video and I'll also include the time lapse here but my next video will show how to find projects and put them on the SD card and then print them on the printer. I've included an image of the, app, the test dog print here just so you can see what it would look like. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found it a bit helpful. If you did, subscribe and I will continue to put ones on here as I learn how to use the printer and find new projects. Thank you.